Bitcoin has seen a very harsh rejection from around $31,700. And everybody's wondering, are we actually going to see a major breakdown here? Or is this just a shakeout before we get that big pump? Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications. Because today we're going to be discussing exactly that. So on Friday, we saw Bitcoin acting like my poor old uncle trying to walk up the stairs. A massive drop to the downside. Now, there were some major warning signs printing on the chart, specifically as the price was getting higher into this very key level of resistance. We saw momentum and money flow getting lower on market cipher beat, giving us the bearish upside down Sam Bankman Freed man breast pattern, where the mammary flow and the red pepperoni nipples are getting lower as the price is getting higher. We can tell by the look on this guy's face, he's about ready to take everyone's money, give it to his friends, and go chill in the Bahamas. But if you were watching my channel on Friday, we were discussing this exact thing, saying that if we are going to lose the price of 30800 it's more probable than not that we make our way back down to the low of the range. And that's literally exactly what has happened. We have come back down to the low of the range, and this level was one of the trade setups that I was looking at in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. The only two shorts that I was interested in taking, first one ended up being a decent scalp trade. The second one, as you can see, ended up being a little bit more than a scalp, currently up right now 340% in profit. Shout out to everybody in the Casper Crew VIP Discord who was ready and waiting for this level. And by the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, where we give the juicy trade setups, like the swing long, literally from the exact bottom, 24,800, currently still holding the trade right now. And these lower term time frame trades, like the short I'm in right now, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com, click the link to join the VIP Discord, not a signals group, but an educational group where we do multiple live streams every weekday. We post our levels, our trading ideas, and it's a great place to learn. And if you want to take advantage of a 25% discount on these trading courses that are changing the way thousands of people are approaching these markets, make sure to check out the discount code in the description of this video. Also, if you want to take advantage of trading these markets, longing and shorting Bitcoin with the best deal on fees available, check out my favorite exchange, MEXC, 0% limit order fees, 0.01% take order fees, links in the pinned comment and the description. Also, if you are looking for an exchange that you can trade on without out of VPN or KYC, check out Zoomex, a great trade for those who don't want to trade with VPN or KYC, a centralized exchange and a decentralized exchange on the same platform. Sign up bonuses and links in the description and the pinned comment. Of course, only sign up to an exchange if you know how to trade, because if you don't know how to trade and you try to trade on an exchange, well, your whole life will fall apart. Your girlfriend will dump you. Your wife will break up with you because you found out you had a girlfriend. Horrible time. So what's the deal with the Bitcoin price? Why did we get such a big move to the downside? Well, there's a few things we need to look at. First of all, we do understand that we were printing the bearish Sam Bankman fried man boob pattern, which typically does lead to a move to the downside. Secondly, when we take a look at this chart on the four hour, we can see that Bitcoin is simply respecting this parallel channel right here, this ascending parallel channel. For me, I'm still keeping my eyes on these lows right here. Although I was really hoping for a breakout of this channel, I was expecting to move up to $33,000. We have to acknowledge the fact that we cannot get overly bearish on this Bitcoin price action unless we start to close daily candles below $29,400. Then we can actually look for a larger move to the downside. But for right now, as higher term time frame traders, we have to remain neutral. Because a lot of times, market cipher B on the four hour, when the money flow comes low in a bull trend, in an uptrend, it actually can act as support before another big move to the upside. On the weekly time frame, I have to admit, this candle right now looks very bearish, and this weekly candle that we're printing right now is going to close in about 12 hours. However, we have broken out of a massive three-year support resistance flip, which we can trace all the way back to 2021, where it was our major support in January 21, our major support in the summer of 2021, a massive support resistance flip in the spring of 2022, and then a massive zone of resistance in April 2023. We have gotten a very bullish engulfing candle on the monthly, closing above the level, and right now I am looking for a support resistance flip to confirm that what used to be major resistance is now going to be major support. And this will basically continue the uptrend and will take us to the target of our inverted head and shoulders pattern, which is going to be around that $36,000 level. Now, whenever we're looking at an uptrend, we always want to ask ourselves, 
where is that higher low going to come in? And we typically want to look for zones of support resistance flip. For example, when we broke out of this inverted head and shoulders pattern, we were looking now at this neckline, which was support back here in May 2022, resistance in August, resistance again in February 2023. We're saying this was support, resistance, resistance. If we come back down to this level, we should be looking for a juicy long trade right from that level, which is actually how we were able to take this long trade in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. So right now, as I'm looking at the chart, I'm saying this is a massive three-year support resistance flip. If we get a big move to the downside, we're going to entice a lot of people to start turning very bearish. And when we do, we need to be looking at this box for a potential juicy bounce. When we look at market cipher beyond the weekly, we are seeing the money flow curving to the upside. A very powerful signal. Look at what happened when the money flow curved to the downside on market cipher B. It happened way back here in the spring of 2021. Basically, when that started to happen, bam, we got a massive move to the downside. Right when it crossed over, we had this doji candle on the weekly, and then it was just a nonstop drop for weeks and weeks and weeks. Could we potentially see the same thing right here? Well, I think that is very possible. And so if price does get a drop down to this level, we need to be looking for our good friend Sam Beckman free to turn his life right side up again. Now we want to see the man breast getting higher as the price is getting lower into the key zone of support with the purple money flow also getting higher. The last time we saw market cipher B on the four hour time frame, print a very deep momentum wave followed by a shallow momentum wave as price came down to key support was the last time price put in a higher low in this uptrend right here from the retest of the head and shoulders, right? The long setter from the Casper crew, the long trade swing long that I'm currently in right now. Look at market cipher B on the four hour, looking just like SBF with his three boobies here. We've got one booby, two booby, three boobies, and we see this money flow getting higher over time. So if we come down to this level and we're seeing the money flow on market cipher, let's say dip into the purple and start to get higher again, this would tell us, man, this was a big fake out, just a massive liquidity grab. And then we're actually going to get our move to the upside. Because one thing that's very important to remember, especially about these parallel channels, where price is making higher lows, higher lows, higher lows within a range, is we're actually building liquidity here, right? We are building stop losses underneath these lows. For example, I myself am in a long trade, literally, from this low right here, which means if we get a dip down, I'm going to get stopped out of that long trade, right? And a lot of people are in long trades uh, below these lows. And so what that means is there's liquidity here, right? If I was a big player and I was looking to build a big long order, I would need a lot of people who are selling Bitcoin so I myself could buy that Bitcoin. Well, when a long trade gets stopped out, guys, guess what? That's a sell order on the order book. So it's a liquidity grab, stop out everybody who's long waiting for the breakout, and then we can get our real move after we shake out all the weekends. So this right now is my current swing long trade idea, one of them at least. And again, if you want to take advantage of trading these markets with very low fees, I do recommend MEXC. Link in the comment and the pinned comment and the description. Also ZoomX, link in the pinned comment and description. Now, could we just hold support and pump from here? Of course, anything is possible. But when it comes to my own personal style of trading, I don't make predictions. I don't think we're going to go this way. We're going to go that way. Instead, I make a plan. And then if I see a setup, I take a trade, right? That's how I actually got into the short trade that I'm in right now. That's how I got into the long trade that I'm in right now. And I don't really know how good these trades are going to turn out. But what I always do is I lock in a profit, move that stop loss to the entry. And then no matter what happens, we're putting ourselves in a position where we can profit no matter what happens in these markets. So guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. May God bless everybody in the name of Jesus, Yeshua the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace!